Hi again guys and welcome to another drag spec build on Gran Turismo Sport in particular and this time we're going back a little bit not to a DLC car but to a car with a lot of potential for drag racing in particular short distance and mid-range drags not so much top end it can be beaten for sure for top end performance even by some less powerful cars like the Ford GT but that's not too surprising Lamborghinis typically aren't that strong top end but the car in question is, of course, the Lamborghini Huracan. Now, of course, I would recommend, as usual, fully upgrading the weight and the power. You want the power, of course, as high as possible, the weight as low as possible. Traction control, you definitely want turned off. You can go without that completely. Racing super soft tires, could consider that overkill with a wheel drive, but it depends on the driver, of course, personal preference. As far as the ride height, we've got that on 110, front and rear, which might sound a little bit high, but it's not that high, and it allows you that little bit of travel on the suspension so that you don't bottom out on the floor when you launch off the line. As far as the frequency, we've got that on 2.2 and 2. Anti-roll, we've got on 10 to keep the car straight and true, as usual. As far as compression, we've got that on 55 and 52, then rebound on 88 and 88 again. Neutral camber for maximum tyre contact. Neutral toe, of course, because you don't want to be dragging the tyres. There's just no need for that. As far as the diff, I've got the front initial torque, as you can see, a little bit higher than the rear. You don't have to do that, though. That is more a circuit aspect of the build. So if you want to try something different, by all means, go for that. It's pretty good handling, though, actually. As far as the gearbox, of course, the main thing, I'd recommend an auto setting of 249, which is the highest possible setting. Then for the individual gears, 2.1, 1350, 999, 0.8, 0 0.675, 0 0.6, and 0.550 with that final drive, as you can see, of 4650. So that's it for the setup. Now, as we always do, let's take it out on the strip to see what kind of times it can run. Now, as I said, Lambos aren't typically all that great for top-end speed. On some games they are, but that doesn't tend to be with a standard engine. They are, however, great off the line, so very similar to stuff like Skylines, for instance, in that regard. Not quite a strong top-end, but very, very good off the line, great launch, and pretty good for mid-range as well. Basically, the higher you get, the less effective they are, especially above 200. Now, as far as specs on this one, you can hit 60 in two seconds dead, and that's even with an automatic gearbox. So you can potentially go even quicker with some of these numbers. Not necessarily with 0 to 60 though, because you can do that in first gear. Then 100 is in 4.3 seconds. You can hit 150 in nine seconds dead, 175 in under 13, and the magic zero to 200 miles per hour, the double ton, in a pretty decent 18 and a half seconds. Now, as I said, that's not as quick, that's about two seconds slower, in fact, than the Ford GT, or something like a Nissan GTR. So that's the kind of comparison that you're looking at, but as long as you keep it to, say, quarter mile or half mile kind of distances, in other words, like 0 to 200, that kind of thing, or 0 to 175, even more so, then it's pretty good for that. I'm not going to guarantee that it will beat everything, of course, but for its power, and well, it's not really an underdog, but you know what I mean, it's kind of a car which can be easily underestimated, in a similar way to a Gallardo, it can be a deceptively good car against stuff like GTRs, because it's a far less obvious choice. So, if you do decide to use it, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. You can get up around 235 as well. And of course, if you want to check out my other speed builds, you can click through at the end of this video and see them. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.